something's biting me, I'm sure. I just saw something biting me. What was that? What is going on guys? Okay, so welcome back. We have got another night video. We haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, today we are in a haunted, very well, high, very highly haunted location. And uh, this place is called Aberbach Beach. Uh, so obviously if some of my fans are local, you're going to be thinking like, why, why would you be here? This is not haunted. Uh, well, the story of this place was there was bodies actually washed up on this beach, uh, obviously years and years ago. Uh, there was a ship wreck out to my right in the sea and uh, the bodies were believed, well, they were washed up here and they were buried in the local church. Uh, so today we're going to go see if there's any ghosts here, see if it's paranormal at all. Not to be disrespectful at all, as you guys know, we just do this uh, test if we can find anything. So it should be quite interesting. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to find anything or not. It's just me by myself today. My family is over there, they're fishing, so we're going to stay away from them. We're literally by ourselves right now. Uh, so it should be pretty fun. So let's go ahead and see if we find anything. The Wreck of the Charles Holmes The Charles Holmes was a wooden, full-rigged ship built by Horace Merriam and Ellis Andrews in the state of Maine in the US in America. The vessel was launched on the 10th of December in 1851. The vessel was blown ashore at Aberbach Beach during the Royal Charter Gale on the 25th of October 1859. Many things were found floating along the surface of the sea, including cloths, and human bodies. The crew of 28 and a single passenger all drowned. Nine bodies were recovered from Aberbach. These bodies were then buried in the local church marked on the gravestone, names unknown. So as you can see this small nice secluded beach in Pembrokeshire also has some very dark history and today we're going to be checking it out at night time and seeing if we can communicate of any of the lost souls found on that beach. Hey guys, so as you can see, I have a new torch so you guys can see better. Uh, it's quite creepy here. The sea is actually this way. I'll shine a spotlight. I don't know if you can see down there, but the sea is right there. Uh, and then there's like a river that goes along here, and then the river is there. Uh, there's also like an abandoned building up here. We're not going to go up there though because it's on the other side of the river. But you can see that just by there. I might do a series here if we capture a lot of stuff. Uh, it might be quite interesting. We're going to walk along the beach now. Uh, I'm going to show you the location. And then uh, we're going to start doing the test stuff. I'm sorry if you guys can't see. You can see me better now. The light behind me, as, you, as I told you, is my family fishing. So we're going to ignore them. You guys, so as you can see, it's, a, it's very pebbly here. A lot, a lot of stones. There's a marsh over that side. Uh, you could probably see the river going along there. It's quite a big beach, uh, although it's not absolutely massive. But like I said, out of some of the paranormal places I've been to, this should be quite a decent one, just because of what has happened here. Okay guys, so we are currently down here now. We're by a moor. Did you hear that? It's not even on yet, guys. Okay, so we're down by a moor right now. Uh, we're actually far away now from uh, the rest of them. Uh, you can't really see me properly. Hang on, guys, bear with me. Let me adjust the camera so you can see me a bit better. There you go. Yeah, so we're currently down on a moor uh, next to the moor then. As you can see, well, you can't see because it's pitch black. Uh, away from everybody, and I feel like it's dead, it's a lot more quieter here, away from the waves, so that's why I think we'll do a first test here. Uh, so for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, with the tests we do like, a, it's like basically a static thing on my phone, which picks up noises and stuff which cannot be heard uh, from the human eye, and then it blasts out the noises then through the static. Uh, bear in mind there are bats around as well, so bats can communicate through stuff like this as well, so if we pick up some weird noises, it could also be bats. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do our first test. Okay, here we go guys. Right, there's something here with us now. This should be terrifying, guys. Anything here want to speak? I know 
hopefully nobody comes down here. I'm going to basically hold the torch because I'm pretty terrified, guys. I know nothing comes down here, so if you want to speak with us, feel free. Now's your chance to do so. Is there anybody here? It's quite scary, guys. Were you washed up on this beach? I mean, no harm at all. Just want to try and communicate to you. Are you here? Feel free to say something. Okay. I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, you have one more chance to say something if you want to, uh, and then we're going to go somewhere else. Okay, guys. So we're not. We haven't got anything there. Uh, so we're gonna go to a different location now. I'm getting chills around this place, though. Getting a quite creepy vibe. I'll show you exactly what I mean now, guys. Okay, guys. It's literally just started raining, so I have to find shelter. But as you can see, it's literally pretty creepy in this location where I just was. I'm gonna have to go get some shelter now until the rain dies down, and then uh, we'll have to start again. Guys, yeah, as you can see, I'm in a tent right now because it was raining. It's now stopped raining, so we're gonna go find somewhere else. But there you go. That's a better angle, uh, and you can see there's a tent here. So uh, yeah, let's go find a new location. Okay, guys. So it, as you can see, it's still bloody raining, uh, but there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm gonna keep trying my best to keep filming. Uh, Unless it gets really bad. So as you can see, here's the moors, which I was just by. Uh, I was actually sitting by here, borderline of the moors. I'm gonna go further down now towards the trees, and hopefully, something will want to communicate with us. But whether they will or not, that's a different thing. Guys, I'm hearing noises. Let's have a look at the full beam so you guys can see. Maybe it's an animal or something. Nope. There's literally nothing there. Right, okay. That was weird. It's getting kind of creepy down here as it's getting later. Maybe that's something to do with it, or maybe I'm just getting paranoid. It's quite hard to tell. I'm sorry you guys, all you can see is pebbles. Like I said, it's just a pebbly beach, unless I go full beam, where you can see something a bit better, but other than that, there's nothing else I can really do. What I'll do is I'll sit up here, and uh, we'll see if we can capture something. What I'll do, I won't edit this at all, so this is gonna be a full cut. So we'll go, go by here, towards where the noise is coming from. Right. Okay, guys, as you can see, with the light off, it's pitch black right now. I can't, generally can't see shit. Can't see anything. I'm gonna put this back on. Right. I'm gonna go by here. What was that? What's that there? That's just a plant, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go by, by here, stand, ask a few questions, see what happens in the dark, guys, okay? So, oh god, I can't see, sorry. Right, as I said, this isn't edited whatsoever. So you can see me right now. There you go. Okay. Right, is there something here? Say something if there's something here. God, this is so creepy, guys. Shh. Something is 
bite me, I'm sure. I just saw something bite me. Could have sworn I just... This is really weird, guys. Very, very weird. Okay, so guys, the bodies would have been washed along this wave line here. If you guys can see it, it's very, very dark right now. There's the sea. So, what I think we'll do is we'll go around this area where I hear the noise. And uh, I think we'll build up to this bit right here, which will be the finale. Uh, it's quite fun so far, but it's also kind of scary. Kind of freaking myself out right now. But anyway, we'll go over here now. Okay, I'm gonna keep filming whilst I'm walking over here because this is where I got freaked out last time. I don't want to get freaked out again. I want to have something on camera if I get freaked out. But also look where I'm going. See, I keep hearing noises. It's really weird. You guys can't even see that. Let's walk a bit forward a bit more. I'll we'll do this. Maybe you can see a bit better. Can you see that? Hardly. Great. Okay, that's brilliant. All right, what about that? Oh Jesus, now I can't see at all. Right, this is the path. Right, I just have to keep doing this. Okay, so I'm standing in this spot next to the cliffs. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't, I'll have to do this. Right, so this is the glass bank here. Uh, as you can see, it then goes into like the rock area over there. You can't really see it better on the camera, but yeah. So it goes into a rock area, and then this is the, this is the cliff area here. So bodies would have been brought up this path here. Why is it when I say that the waves get bigger? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the, the flashlight right now. I'm going to be sitting in the pitch black, and uh, we're going to see if we can hear anything. I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to save a static test for next week, guys. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, but yeah, let's do a science test. No editing right now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh god, this is terrifying. I'm literally just holding the camera, guys. Right, is there something here? Say something. Come on, try and talk to us. Show us that you exist. Come on. Prove to me that there's something here. Is there anything here? God, it's really weird, guys. I look at the camera screen and then I can't see anything. What was that? I could have sworn I just heard like breathing or I saw something. That was very weird. This has been quite an interesting video. Like I said, this sort of stuff doesn't scare me, but it's also, it kind of makes you a bit paranoid. That's, that's my, oh, God, my ankle, shit. That's my only problem with these videos. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll call that an episode there. I think uh, that was quite interesting. Okay hey guys, that, without further ado, that's going to be the end of today's episode, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, it was quite interesting, I just could, I could have sworn I heard like something come up to me in the dark, I don't know. Uh, hopefully when I watch back the footage, something will be there. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button if you're enjoying these videos. 
Uh, as I said, I'm going to do a few more, and if they are popular enough, I will carry on doing them. Uh, I do enjoy doing ghost videos, and I know you've got, some of you guys do as well, especially my Top Buzz fans. Uh, so that's basically, if you don't know what Top Buzz is, that's a platform that my videos also go up on, and uh, they get hundreds and hundreds of views, uh, whereas my YouTube videos don't really get too popular. Uh, but hey, it's still part of the fun. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment as well. Uh, let me know what you thought. Did you see something I didn't? And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We upload uh, we upload weekly videos all around Wales where we explore stuff. And we also do paranormal videos as well. So I hope you have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in next, next week's upload where we will see the rest of this place. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Peace out.